Hey everybody, welcome to Sally's Recipe of the Week, brought to you by Doris Italian Market and Bakery. And tonight, yeah, ramen noodles, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> hey Mo. Hey. Hi Curtis. Hello. Yeah, um, we're broke, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 what got us through college, right? Ramen noodles. Uh, actually, we're gonna we're gonna have beefy Asian ramen noodles, and I'm I'm excited about this. Uh, I love ramen noodles, and you don't have to. You know, I got a packet of uh, what six for a buck eighty, and um, I was kind of bummed though, you guys, because I I got the, I got the beef ones because they have beef, they have chicken, they have vegetable. And I got the beef and I thought, I really want to try this recipe once with chicken. You know, in, instead of ground beef, do ground chicken. Instead of beef broth, do chicken broth. And I thought, but I bought the beef ramen noodles. Well, duh. The flavoring is all in that little flavor packet. And we're not going to use the flavor packet. So I can still make my chicken with these. Still do what you want to do. Hmm? You could still do what you wanted to do. I, I'm still going to be able to do what I wanted to do, but I'm not going to throw away that little flavor packet because you can make it. You can use it to make a soup or something else. If you ever need leftover noodles sometime, so don't throw it away. But we're not using the flavor packet tonight. Okay. We have to say hello to uh, D Stokes. Hey, Dana, Dana was in here first. Uh, good evening. Uh, let's see. We have uh, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Also, Kathy. Uh, Karen from the Cove. Oh, Karen in the Cove. Hey, Karen. What's for dinner tonight, Karen? I know she's making dinner. Dinner. I know there's no ramen noodles. Uh, <laughs> right. We're on a budget now. <laughs> Karen says Costco sells uh, big packs of ramen noodles, and she says they're great. I, I, I think you'll like this dish, Karen. If, and um, I don't know if you heard, but you can you can I'm gonna make this with chicken one time too, like uh, in, in ground chicken instead of ground beef. But tonight we are gonna do ground beef. Hi, Deli. Uh, and it's going to have an Asian flair because you guys know how much I like <laughs> Vicky's here. Uh, Marina. Also, Laura. Yeah, uh, Karen, uh, we might need to live in the boathouse for a while. Uh, you we know. ain't got no money. <laughs> yeah. She's grilling chicken tonight. Oh, uh, nice. She made potato salad and coleslaw. Karen makes excellent potato salad. I can attest to that. She says it's so hot up there. It's too hot to cook, she says. Yeah. Well, it's hot in here, too, but Mo got the AC working last night, so it went out. But, oh. So we're all good. That's, see, that's the thing is you put a deposit down on a kitchen and your damn AC breaks. <laughs> I lost AC my Jesus. Who else you spending money on? Who you yeah, I lost my Jesus last <laughs> he night. He certainly did. Okay, well, let's go over and check Hi. out. We're doing a little different tonight with the wine and cheese. We're doing a spreadable cheese on the crackers. Yeah, this looks uh, good. Uh, so we have uh, Bremner wafers. You see what it says about these? The preferred cracker of wine enthusiast. All right. When well. I saw that, I was like, oh, we were at Doris on Wednesday, and I was like, there you go. We're having Pine River garlic and herb. It's a cheese spread. It's a cheddar cheese spread. With cheddar cheese. Herbs. All right. And uh, oh, look at this. We're gonna look at this little oh, fancy. Yeah. We'll probably have to sell that. Yeah, we'll have to sell this. You'll see this on uh, <laughs> you'll see this on eBay because that'll buy a cabinet door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, look at y'all trying to be bougie about this part, but then y'all got oh, ramen yeah. noodles. Oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah. This is the uh, very bougie, but we're having ramen noodles tonight. You try to put your little candle on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got a candle on there. These little bowls, Curtis. Uh huh. They're actually older than I am. Oh wow. Yeah, they were my parents. They came from Japan. All right. So, Mo, I'll give you a cracker. All right. Mm-hmm. Give it a try. Joanne's asking if everything is for sale. <laughs> everything. Well, our dining room, our, our kitchen table's for sale, our bar is for sale. Oh, yeah. You guys want to buy anything. <laughs> that, that kitchen table's for sale. There's going to be an island there. Yeah. That's all the samples and stuff. Uh, yep. What else is for sale? Our bar. Our bar is for sale. Let's see. That chair over there is for sale. Um, there's a chair in here for sale. <laughs> the cat's for sale. We're going into QVC. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going into QVC mode here. That chair <laughs> is for sale. This bar is for sale. Yeah, mm-hmm. So, anyway, I, I won't go into all that right now. I can. What do you think of that? Oh, I love it. I need another one. As I, uh... Okay, so this is the wine that we're having. This is on sale at Doris. 
It is on sale. We got I think, a really good price. I think it was like nine or ten bucks. It's delicious. And you're saying what is it? I made you. A well, it's a. It says red wine, Garnacha, and then there's a seventy thirty blend on some stuff I've never heard of. So yeah, me neither. Yeah, I, it's it's. I, I don't even know what the hell that I is. That I like it. Really good, and it's great with this. Uh, well, this is dangerous right here. Deli says, I am so broke, I am making rice and tuna instead of chicken and rice. We're, we're doing ramen noodles, Deli. Mm -hmm. You're a good company. Okay, so for this dish, um, mm. it's going to be a beefy ramen noodle, and it's going to have Asian flavors. What I want to do is I want to start with the snow peas. Now, if you, you don't have to put the peas in the dish if you don't want to, or you could use sugar snap peas or even broccoli. I like veggies in my pasta dishes, um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these uh, snow peas in. And I want to show you guys what I did. Obviously, I, I did a lot in advance, but I, I, I left a few behind. Um, snow peas can have a, like a, they can have a, like a vein in them, for lack of a better word. They can be kind of stringy, so I always pinch one end. And you see how, you probably can't see that, but there's a little bit of a, and then I do the other end. And it, there, there's just this, it, it's kind of like, I don't want to say a hair because that's gross. Not all of them have it. If you don't want to do this step, you certainly don't have to do this step. I just do because I don't like that little string that's in there. And then we're going to blanch them. And that's what I've already did to these guys. And I'll show you what I did. And the great thing is, is, the boiling water that we're blanching the snow peas in, that very same water we can cook our noodles in. So you only need to heat up one pot of water. Karen's already leaving us. Oh, bye, Karen. She says she's got to go grill for the fam, Jane. All right. She says she can't hang out with you broke people. Yeah, she says you broke ass <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, we need to go over to the stove. Okay. All right, well, I got to make a stop here at the cheese. Uh, well, I don't make it. It's, uh, this is really good, you, you guys, uh, and all, you get all this we got it all doors, the crackers. at Doris Italian Market, uh, Bremner Wafers, the preferred cracker of wine enthusiast, Layla, Leia, I'm sorry, Leia, Leia is the wine, and look at all that cheese I gave you, and the cheese is uh, garlic and herb, mmm, 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 it's so good. So I've got some boiling salted water. We're going to work on this side. Um, I've already salted it, and I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit. Now, these guys, they're very thin, so they're not going to be in there very long. But the reason I blanch them, it brings out the color, and I think it brings out the flavor a little bit. It just makes your dish a little prettier. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. If, you, um, if you're using broccoli, though, I would suggest you do it because you need to soften it up. But these guys are pretty little, so we're just going to throw them in the pot. Obviously, I'm just doing a few, and they're only going to sit in there for like mm, maybe a minute. And then right here, I've got an ice bath. It's just some ice cold water. So when I fish these guys out, I'm going to throw it in the ice bath so they stop cooking. But you'll notice the difference in the color, and that's why I think I I blanch vegetables all the time. Like when you know back when we used to have people over and you'd make a vegetable tray. If I had green beans or or broccoli or something like that. I always blanch it because it just, it makes the color pop. But you don't have to do it very long. These guys are just sitting there. It looks like a hot tub for peas. <laughs> and then we'll put the ramen noodles in there. So you get, you get two uses out of this. And if I wasn't cooking ramen noodles in here, if I was just blanching some vegetables like this, like the peas, you know what I would do with this water next? I would take my wooden spoons and stick it in it and boil my wooden spoons. Ever since, was that a life hack you had about wooden spoons? I think so, spoons? yeah, maybe. Okay, so see how much, they're, they're brighter green now. Mm -hmm. And then just throw them in there so they stop cooking. All right? Simple as that. All right, so now we're going to do the noodles. I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit. Again, Hi, this, water, this water is salted. Burr. And we're going to take our very fancy top ramen noodles. And we're just going to pop them right in. And you only keep them in there for about two and a half minutes because you want to undercook them. Because remember, we're going to stick them in a pan with the sauce and it'll have some cooking there. So you don't want to, you don't want to overcook them. Otherwise, they'll get mushy. Yeah, don't overcook the ramen noodles. 
Don't waste your money. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. God forbid. God forbid. That's hot. It's like seven cents right there. Uh, and remember, um, uh, there's a flavor packet in here. You're not going to use it, but save it. Don't throw it away. You can make soup with it later. You want to break them? You can. You certainly don't have to. All right, we're going to use two packets. Hey, my niece is joining us. Uh, hey. Stacy Wells Solano. Hi, Hi Stacy. Stacey. We're being fancy tonight. We're making ramen noodles. Ramen noodles, yeah, because uh, you just... put a deposit on our kitchen this week. Yeah, and, we're uh, getting a new kitchen. We just, put, you know, put a deposit on it. So uh, you just call me uh, broke-ass Uncle Mo. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're, we're all headed back to college because this pretty much got me through college. All right, so two packs of ramen noodles. Yeah, two packs. And uh, again... Save the flavor yeah, packets. And um, like I said, uh, next time I make this, I'm going to make it with ground chicken and chicken broth and i thought wow but i bought the beef ramen noodles well all the flavorings in the packets it's not in the noodles Lori so. says i can have those packets in my lunch tomorrow yeah i mean you can make soup with these don't throw them away no she said the, the laura said the flavor pack is your lunch you that's my lunch that's, <laughs> that's my lunch i don't even get a lunch meal tomorrow <laughs> damn all right and let's see these are going to go just just about two and a half minutes with this and then what we're going to do is we're gonna we're gonna strain them and rinse them under cold water, which I know you don't normally do that for pasta, but we want them to stop cooking. We don't want them to overcook, so we will run them under cold water, just like we did with the <laughs> snow peas. Because we don't have no hot water anymore. Because <laughs> we can't afford hot water anymore. <laughs> Maybe I should go bust out my ramen noodles and make some in in uh, solidation. Do you have ramen noodles, Curtis? <laughs> oh yeah, I got a whole box. I think you'd like this. You know, again, you don't have to put the peas in there if you don't want to, the snow peas. Oh, no, I'm not doing none of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, he and Linda Brooks ain't putting nothing green in there. <laughs> Just remember to salt your water, okay? For the ramen noodles, those things have enough salt already. That's no, what, I, that's what I was thinking. I'm not using the packet. Oh, I'm going to use the packet. I don't oh, play that. okay. So you're not going to make this recipe. You're just no, going to no, make no. ramen noodles. He's just going to make ramen noodles. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, if, if you're using one of these packets, no, don't, do not salt the water. He's not going to do all this mess. <laughs> because, yeah, you're right. Uh, you know, that, that does have quite a bit of salt in it. Uh, Lori has never had ramen noodles. How in the hell? What? You know what, Lori? I don't think I had ever had ramen noodles until we had this last night. What yeah, we hell? played around. What are you talking about? I, I don't. I never had ramen noodles. I don't think I had. Uh, what is that? Uh, cup of noodles. It's kind uh, of the same thing, isn't it? That's the same uh, thing. It's yeah. the same thing. Cup of noodles. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. Right. It's similar. So, all right. Now I'm just going to take a little test. No, no, get scared. Hi, Doctor Bradford. Doctor Todd. Man, Doctor Todd has a great life hack. Mm. All right, kids, let's take these off. All right, so I got to tell you Dr. Todd's uh, life hack. Oh, before I take this off, okay, I always do this whether I'm going to, you know, just give me one second, whether I'm going to use it or not. I always grab a little bit of the starchy water. I don't always use it, but I like to have it just in case, just in case you want it. All right, you, what's his hack? Dr. Todd's uh, hack is, so, you know, if you have like uh, bags under your eyes. I do. Okay, so the great thing about wearing a mask is uh, you take two pieces of uh, scotch tape and you tape, you put the tape under your eyes and you pull down the skin, you know, and then you put your mask on and you look 10 times better. You're not going to look crazy like your eyes are drooping? No, you don't do it too much. Just do, just do it enough to get rid of the bags and then you put your mask on and you can't even tell because you can't see the tape. I thought it was you know brilliant. I, I like it. He showed he he sent me the video today, and I was like, "Damn, that's pretty genius." Okay, so um, again, I don't normally rinse off my pasta, but uh, for this case, we want we want it to stop cooking now. We're hot, and then we're just gonna let it drain. All right. So now you can come back around. Here. Oh, what? I'm sorry. What? Over here. Oh, I'm trying to get. Marina, something. you never had ramen noodles either. What the hell? Y'all got y'all got money. Hi, Milton. Who's never had? Oh, uh, yeah, Marina. Marina and Lori. All right, so back to the 
snow peas. I'm just going to put them on a paper towel. You can put them on a clean dishcloth just so they're not. Oh my around. gosh. It's, it's, to me, I don't know about you, Curtis, but these uh, damn peas seem high maintenance. I mean, you got to. For these little three peas. Oh my gosh. For three <laughs> peas. <laughs> Oh my God, they they were, they were in the spa for a while after you. <laughs> yeah, they got a bathe. Yeah, and then they had a nice bath, and now they're getting toweled off. It's like Jesus for three you pieces. You don't have to do all this. Now they getting a massage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you put a little you know, here. Yeah, look at them. <laughs> Jesus. You don't have to do all this, you guys. It's just I like them the way I like them, and I like. You got a sing to them. Yeah, you got to sing to them. I, I don't even want to eat them. They're so pampered. It's like I feel sorry for them. Oh, they're going that night. We got to shut up. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, remember my hack today. You don't have to cut them if you don't want to. All right, so these are going to be good to go into our dish when we're ready for them. Somebody get a screenshot of that. That's the murder weapon. <laughs> yeah, she's had enough of my ass. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I, do? I didn't do anything. I came home and cleaned house today. You did. Okay, so now let's make the sauce. Okay, if you're just joining us, we're making beefy Asian ramen noodles. Joanne says your outfit is great. Oh, thank you. By the way, this is all brought to you by Doris Italian Market and Bakery. Mm -hmm. They have like six locations in South Florida. You can go there and get all your ingredients. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have wine and cheese. And, and the wine bakery and is amazing. Now, their produce section is yep. amazing. And a lot of their produce is local. When they can shop local, they do, which I like. Yeah, um, Doris is amazing. I know Karen and I, Karen Weagle and I, when we talk about making um, a sauce, our rule sometimes is double the sauce. I'm not really sure you need to do that for this recipe. I think there's plenty of sauce in the recipe, which, by the way, is on our website, 1055online.com. So, uh, Linda Brooks is here. She says, sorry, she's late. Uh, see, you didn't get got, Mo. Yeah, Sally hasn't killed me yet, but. You just missed the part where she waved the knife, though. You just missed it. it yeah. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Okay, calm it down. Jeez. All right. So, <laughs> sauce. we've got a third a cup of beef broth. And two tablespoons of oyster sauce. And if you're if you don't like oyster sauce, if you never had it, it, it definitely has that oyster taste. It's also sweet and salty, um, but a, you don't need a whole lot. Two tablespoons of oyster sauce. You could probably use hoisin sauce if you wanted to, but I just discovered this a couple of years ago, and I love it. I just love it. So two tablespoons of oyster sauce. That's what's in here. Um, two tablespoons of just good old soy sauce. I use low sodium. Uh, rice vinegar. I love this ingredient. Uh, rice vinegar. You could use rice wine vinegar. And if you're like Sally, I'm not buying a whole bottle of vinegar for two tablespoons. You could use white vinegar. Okay, this is just a little bit more mild. It's not quite as acidic. But I love cooking with this. So two tablespoons of rice vinegar. If you want to substitute just white vinegar, go right ahead. Vicky um, says she's out. Oyster sauce is too much money. <laughs> they get hoisin sauce. Milton says he went to Doris. Uh, he's going to go every weekend. Yeah, Milton, you got to get that wine card. I don't know if you have yet, but you you got to get the you know the wine tasting card. I would advise. It. What is that? Uh, this is toasted sesame oil. Um, toasted sesame oil a little goes a long, long way. If you ever get a recipe that tells you like to cook with this, like instead of olive oil or you know canola oil in a pan, they say you know saute the onions in in toasted sesame oil. Don't do it. This is a flavoring. This isn't really meant for cooking, okay? So I'm going to put a half a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, and you store this in the fridge because there's nuts in here, so you don't store it in your pantry. But a little goes a long way, but it is delicious. But I've seen chefs on um, chopped ruin their dishes with too much. And then, of course, we like the spice. A teaspoon of sriracha. A teaspoon is not going to make it spicy. It's just going to give it flavor. Um, so I put a little more and ours because we like spice. If somebody in your family or kids just can't take spice, just leave it out and then serve it side. You know, serve it at the table so everybody can put it on. Yeah, but you know what? Somebody needs to come up with a bottle that doesn't explode every time you oh, open I know it. You open it. That thing is Sometimes you open it. Big disaster. It yeah, that's, <laughs> the, uh, that's the one ingredient, other ingredient I got besides the ramen. I got but that. You, got, you yeah. got some of that? Sriracha is fantastic. I love it. Uh, Laura wants to know, she says, what kind of insurance policy do you have, Mo? <laughs> that's, that's cute that you think I know anything about that. <laughs> he doesn't know. I don't know, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I make. I don't, I don't even know if I have insurance. I mean, You'll I find out on the ID episode about about. <laughs> that's right. Uh, if you want to know, Laura, just watch the uh, ID channel. 
<laughs> right, about so, a year from now. So we got our sauce ready. So we're going to go back over to the stove because we're going to saute our onions. Am, am, am I going back over there? Yes, you are. Well, why don't you hit me up with a cracker on the way over? All right. All right. This wow. is good stuff here. Uh, you can't. Okay. What? I what guess are you you're holding the camera. I'll be nice. Uh, yeah. I mean, look at that. Oh, uh, no. He's, uh, yes. Wafers, garlic. Not that I wouldn't be doing this anyway, Chris. And herb. <laughs> oh, well, I tried to give him an out. Leia is the wine, which is really good. Very, it's on sale at uh, Doris. It is on sale. I don't even think it was $10. Look at our fancy cutting board. It's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> we need we're eating ramen noodles for crying out loud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go back over. And... All right. So what I've done is I just sauteed some a cup of onions. I used uh, Vidalia onions. They're sweet onions. You can use whatever onion you have in the house. That's what I usually do. Um, and they've been sauteed in some olive oil. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit. Just nice, low and slow until they until they get soft. And a little trick, and I've been doing this trick for years, and I didn't know if I was breaking a cooking rule or not, but sometimes when you saute stuff in olive oil, low and slow, the pan starts to dry out, and you, have a, you want to put more oil in it so it doesn't get too dry. You don't have to do that. You can add a little bit of whatever stock you're using, or if you're not using stock, just water to the pan, and that way it moistens it back up without adding more oil. But the important thing is, is if you do that, which is perfectly fine, don't put the meat in until the water, until the liquid is absorbed, okay? Because you don't want to boil the meat. You want to saute the meat. Does that make sense? Is all this information on the uh, website? No. <laughs> okay, so now you be listening. If you're going to make this dish, you got a couple of tips there that are not in the instructions. Well, it's, it's just, you know, because I've sometimes been sauteing onions, and I'm like, oh, they're getting all dry, so I add more oil, and the next thing you know, it's too oily. Just add, if, if whatever, if you're use whatever stock you're using, if you're not using stock, water. It works just fine. Or, hey, if you want to, a little, maybe a little wine, depending on what you're making. Speaking but, of, yeah. how do I come over here and look? I'm running low on wine. Um, that is... All right. And the Honda Classic Ambassador glass, that's not even, it's not even up to an ambassador. Damn it. But let that, let that liquid cook off before you add your meat, which it has. All right. So now, I'm going to turn that down just a bit. We're going to pound of lean ground meat. And we're just going to throw it in there and break it up as it cooks. And this is pretty quick. It doesn't take that much time. And the next thing we're going to add is some garlic and some ginger. But you don't want to add that now because you don't want to burn it. Remember that? They, they burn mm -hmm. very easily. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to put no, like, salt or pepper or nothing on the... Um... I'm going to do that. Thanks, Curtis. I'm going to do that in just a minute. You don't okay. want to add... To, I've already... I should tell you. Um, when I sauteed the onions, mm -hmm. I did add a little salt and pepper. You don't want to overdo it because we got mm -hmm. soy sauce and oyster sauce in the sauce, yeah. and that's salty. Yeah, Curtis, you don't want to overdo it. I knew that. You... Yeah. <laughs> no, but he's right. Um, you, you season as you go. So the, the onions were seasoned, not as much as I would normally do, again, just because our sauce is salty. But you, you, have, to, you have to get a little bit. Not that much. And pepper, of course. Let me take a look at these things. How long? This seems to be taking a long time for ramen. Yeah, this is the, the longest packet of ramen I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, it says, uh, boil two cups of water in a saucepan, add noodles, breaking up if desired, cook for three minutes until noodles are tender, stirring occasionally. Oh, what have I done? I just made a damn mess. <laughs> oh, you did it yourself. You got you no one to blame. Trying to, trying to read the damn instructions. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Mark this in history, guys. I didn't make that mess. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't focus now. I know. I already know what's going on. Here, his whole world is jacked. Yeah, we got we to gotta put that in the garbage. My goodness. Hey, see why we're getting... Joanne, oh, yeah. See, that's why I can't do anything in the kitchen, y'all. <laughs> Sally's sleeping. I come in here and I try to open up something. Watch it. <laughs> Jesus, that's loud. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up, uh, Cleavy? What's going on, buddy? You're on TV. Hello. Well, you're on Facebook. 
Nothing is quiet in this Nothing kitchen. Nothing is quiet in this kitchen. Linda said you spilling that stuff was karma. Was karma? Mm-hmm. Joanne says she has uh, a one-pound package of ground beef, so she's going to be making this. Oh, good. Good, well, good, good. Joanne, get the recipe at 1055online.com. Yeah. Curtis puts it in the feed. Get the recipe and make it this weekend. I, let, let us know how it comes out. Yeah, and, you know, make it your own. If you... Uh, again, I'm using I'm using snow peas as my vegetable, but I think broccoli would be great. Sugar snap peas would be great if you're like um, I don't know Curtis and Linda Brooks and you have an aversion to green things. You don't have to put any vegetables in it at mm -hmm. all if you don't want to. I mean, you need the onion in there. Or if you don't want to waste half of your weekend doing this, you just uh, you can follow the directions on the brown <laughs> package. It'll be done in about three minutes. <laughs> We're getting there, guys. I, I think I would like to do this part with the meat and stuff. With, oh, the meat, uh, with, yes. Yeah, 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 just yeah. Like, you know, obviously, and you want to cook it until it's no, not pink anymore. But you don't want to cook it too hot because you don't want to burn it. But it cooks pretty fast. I'm starting to smell good. Yeah. Oh, you know what's really going to smell good? When we add the garlic and the ginger. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Just keep pointing, pointing are, right there. Are we going to get to that in this episode? Yeah. Like Stop it. Taking a while. But oh, you already got threatened. You don't uh, learn. You're the one who makes it longer for all the cheese and crackers I have. All right, you just do that. What are you going to put okay. in there? Okay, well, I was just showing everybody. When I get ginger at the grocery store, mm -hmm. um, I come home and I immediately peel it because it's got this little papery skin on it. And I peel it and then I stick it in a little freezer friendly bag. And I'm going to pop this in the freezer. And then anytime I need ginger, I've got it. Because uh, mm -hmm. if you don't do that, if you leave ginger in your fridge, it can start going bad. So my ginger's never going to go bad because this is what I did. Okay. All right. I got to get some more wine. This is. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just about ready to put the ginger in. Okay. Uh, everybody, she's putting ginger in. I'm putting some more ginger wine in my glass. The Honda Classic Ambassador glass. We're going to get up to Ambassador. There we go. All right. That ought to get me through this. Beef is pretty much cooked, so I'm putting this in last because it only you only have this in here before you add the sauce for about a minute because again you don't want it to burn. What so is that you're putting in that there? That is that is garlic and mm. ginger that I've grated. Mm -hmm. Okay, about mm, three cloves of garlic. It really depends on the size of the garlic. You know, some garlic cloves are huge, some are tiny, and about a tablespoon. A Ooh. freshly ground, you can, you can smell the difference, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Freshly ground ginger. And again, peel it, stick it in the freezer, and then you'll always have it until you forget to buy it, which that has happened to me. But I don't think um, the ginger you know, in the spice aisle is the same. Okay. You can you really smell that. Okay, now it's time to add... The sauce. All right, here we go with the sauce, everybody. Here we go with the sauce. If you're still with us, hopefully. <laughs> it's got our soy sauce, our oyster sauce. Uh oh, some of that dripped on the floor. I it did not. Okay, would you stop? <laughs> Damn it. You're I just, the one I, that made the mess. Not I just cleaned house. Did you do it with your uh, with your apron <laughs> or your maid outfit? <laughs> I did it in my assless maid outfit. <laughs> I thought so. Yeah. <clears throat> and again, if the sauce gets too thick, we've got our starchy cooking water. We can thin it out. I don't think that's going to happen, though. This is kind of a, a loosey sauce because we don't have any flour in it. We don't have any cornstarch in it. So it's not one of those real thick sauces. But when we put the noodles back in, the thing is, is they're not completely cooked. So they're going to absorb some of this sauce. I, I knew that. Yeah, and that's the flavor. So you can stay right there, Mom. So okay. All right. I'll stay right here and drink my own, my wine. There's the uh, spill something else. No, I'm not even gonna touch this now because I done made a mess. <laughs> All right. So our cooked ramen noodles are going in. Oh, here we go. Yeah, and then we'll add the snow peas, and they will absorb some of that sauce because they're not completely cooked, like I mentioned. Actually, I'm moving on from my wooden spoon. Uh-oh. What are we moving up to? Here, another loud drawer. Oh, yeah. That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> and this I, is why we're getting a new Yeah, piece. I can't sneak in here and do anything at night. 
Hell, no. I, I don't even. I, not only do I wake her up, I wake the neighbors up. <laughs> like, oh, me, Mo being fat at twelve yeah, o'clock. Yeah, Mo's fat ass eating again. <laughs> Mo's pulling that drawers. Must be twelve fifteen. Yeah, all of our neighbors like we got to get Hurricane Impact windows so we can't hear his ass open drawers in the middle of the night. <laughs> they are loud, guys. So I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit because I don't want the noodles to overcook. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Vicky says yum. Okay. okay. And then we're going to add in our blanched snow peas. See, that just gives it some color. Those pampered ass peas. Yeah, the pampered peas. Went in the hot tub. Again, you, got don't, massage. Have to, you don't have to do the vegetable part. I just love it. Well, the vegetables are good. I love snow peas. They're one of my favorites. If you didn't feel like you know fussing with the snow peas, I bet I bet frozen peas probably would even work in this. You mm. know, mm. it's almost time for us to go in the air. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feed them. <laughs> yeah, see if I give you a taste. See if you get another crack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make Don't make me eat weak old pizza again. You know what happens. I almost died. <laughs> I tried to tell. You guys, you 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 guys trying to warn me. He wasn't feeling well. And I was like, it probably is that weak old pizza. Old ass pizza. <laughs> well, it's been in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> you guys tried to warn me yesterday. Like, hey, isn't that pizza about a week old? <laughs> yep. Tastes good to me. <laughs> Holy like, yeah, hell. That's got sausage on it. Seriously, that's thought cool. I was going to have to go to the hospital yesterday. <laughs> you have to call Dr. Brett. Oh, Lord. Dr. Or I call you. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna move this off the heat. I'm just gonna plate it right out of here. See, Deli, um, Sally trying to teach you how to make that boozy uh, stuff so you don't have to go to that restaurant. You keep your kids from going to that restaurant for 30 bucks. Oh, that, somebody paid 30 bucks for a plate of this? We are in the wrong business. I, I am. Now, I think about this is you could actually just set this in the center of your table and everybody could just, you know, put it in there. Curtis would just eat it up. <gasps> what just happened? Oh, no. There's an onion right there. Oh crap! You will be okay. Oh, oh my God! We gotta sell Hi, the Matthew, house. How you doing? <laughs> We're not the house. We gotta sell the house. Okay, so I'm gonna get my bowl. Mm-hmm. And I'm taking it off the heat so the noodles don't cook anymore. Ta da! Nice. Make sure you get the snow peas. I think they're pretty. <laughs> Dad like doesn't them. like the onions. He thinks they're evil. The onions are evil? Ooh, yeah. I don't know if I could cook without well, onions. Couldn't you, you could do the dish without onions, couldn't you? Um, If you really hate them, I don't see why not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, Bear Sally says your dish will suck if you don't use them. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Where are we going? Oh, right to the cheese. Yeah. <gasps> cheese. This cheese, y'all, is just the bomb. Pine River, garlic, and herb. Get yourself some crackers and some wine. Oh, Lord, it's damn, good. it's good. Okay, and for garnish, um, again, you don't have to do this. I love scallions. So I'm just going to garnish it with some sliced scallions or green onions, whatever you Kathy says it looks good. Whatever, it is good. Whatever you grew up calling them. What is this thing? Oh, I'll show you. Oh, that's sweet. Well, that's another murder weapon, bro. Don't ask about that. Oh yeah. Now, you can oh. you can do no, this. No, 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 no. It's something else to clean. Yeah. That's just a <laughs> that's just a fancy chopstick. Yeah, that's our chopsticks. But I I eat this with a fork. But you can certainly do the chopsticks. If you want to bougie up your ramen, bougie up your ramen. Six ways to bougie your ramen. <laughs> uh, this is just toasted <laughs> sesame seeds. <laughs> Make sure you toast them. All I did was you just get a little fry pan. Don't put any oil in it or anything. Stick the seeds in there. Swirl them around under like medium heat. When you start to smell the seeds, take them off. You'll smell like a, a nutty. It brings out the flavor. Don't put raw sesame seeds on this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys, when you smell your nuts, put them on there. Yeah. That's now, right. That's you can add some more sriracha if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, soy little, sauce. Little, yeah, a little more soy sauce if you want. I'm going to do a little squeeze of lime. This is going to be on BuzzFeed next week. Hey, if you want to make your ramen noodles look fancy. Yeah, six ways to bougie up your ramen noodles. Put some a list. Sit some fancy chopsticks next to them. <laughs> All right. Put now, some green stuff in it. Yeah. Give, try. give your peas a snow bath. 
<laughs> Three ways to take that. your peas to the spa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Look at that. Now, is that Jackie? That's Jackie. Jackie says looks amazing. Yeah, it's a good dish. We had it last night. It, it was good. good if, you, if you're not a beef eater, try this with ground chicken and chicken uh, broth instead of beef broth. Be equally as delicious. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that the snow peas are just a little undercooked because it gives a crunch, so not everything's all soft. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to do the snow peas, Curtis, um, you know, do at least do the scallions or some chopped onions, raw onions at the end, because you need some something that kind of has a crunch. Mo, I'd like for you to try this one, but I won't make you. I'll make it a little smaller for you. Yeah, make it smaller. Oh my lord! And it's not too hot for you, baby. Now. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I don't want to burn. How, my... did, how did you make it to this big old age you are? I can't. Anyway, <laughs> what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Bradford, why are you asking about ketchup and mayo? You put ketchup and mayo on your on your ramen? Mm, 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 mm. You can taste the garlic and the ginger, but it's not overpowering. Um, yeah, that's fantastic. That's a great dish, you guys. Give it a try. And I love the, the little squeeze of lime on the end. It just kind of brightens the dish a little bit. Tom says, beefy ramen. It's what's for breakfast. <laughs> Hey, I could eat it for breakfast. Yeah, that's Tom. Yeah, we could stick an egg on this. I probably would eat it for Tom, breakfast. Tom, who just ducked in this morning just to vote for Curtis. and he Thank you, out. Tom. Mm -hmm. we, we won. We prevailed. Yeah. I, yeah, I've been thinking about that all day. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Had damn Rolling Stones up in there and Billy Joel and Casey and the damn Sunshine Band wins. Oh, okay. Dr. Bradford's another person who's never had ramen. Dang, y'all... Dr. Bradford, you never have ramen? He's a doctor. He's life everybody's living. He's, he's like, he's a doctor. He's like, ain't nobody got time for that. But that means he went to med school. That means you're poor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least while you're in med school. <laughs> yeah, so ramen, ramen noodles, beefy ramen beefy noodles. Beefy Asian ramen noodles. Beefy Asian ramen noodles. I have posted right. the recipe. Try it, you guys. Yeah, it's it's delicious. I have, to, I have to tell this story, you know, because, uh, you know, I'm an ambassador for the Honda Classic and uh, I was watching golf this afternoon and uh, fell asleep this afternoon. I fell asleep. But yeah. So listen to this. So Tony Finau, he won last week. I think it was the Northern Trust. Tony Finau. And so get this. After he won, I guess he went out to dinner with his family or whatever. They went to Ruth's Chris. All right. Oh, fancy. And he had like a petite filet, but he says he was so, I guess, still so worked up about winning. He only ate half of it. So this is a true story. It's been going around. This rumor has been going around that in the middle of the night, he woke up and he was so hungry that he went to McDonald's, a 24 hour McDonald's. And they were asking him, is it true what you ordered? And he said, yes, it's true. He got a Big Mac, a double meat quarter pounder with cheese. 10 piece chicken nuggets, uh, a McFlurry or whatever they call that. And uh, he washed it all down with water and he ate all of it. Yeah, so. And he still had half a petite filet in the fridge. And he woke up the next morning and went to the gym. <laughs> 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 oh, and a large order of fries. I'm sorry. And he ate all of it. <laughs> he ate all. Yeah. I used to think my order was big, but uh, whoo. I don't know. He went to the gym after yeah, Curtis, could you? Uh, could you? Yeah, that didn't seem that extravagant to me. You I was don't waiting for think the punchline. that seemed extravagant? Not at all. I was waiting for the punchline. What? <laughs> Curtis, did you hear? Big. Mac, I heard what you said. I was like, yeah, that's double fine. Double quarter pounder with cheese, large fries, ten pieces. Yeah, yeah, no, I got it. it. And you said McFlurry. there was, yeah, yeah, and you said it was a McFlurry involved. I, I tracked the whole thing. I understood. Wow, wow. I thought that was pretty huge. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Get the I recipe really try this. at 1055online.com. Uh, next week, ramen noodles <laughs> with chicken and carrots. And then the week after that, just ramen noodles. Yeah, just, we'll, no, we'll have to make something with the packets. Deli says, my broke ass is making this on the weekend. <laughs> 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 hey, this is what we're having all weekend. Yeah. yeah. We have to ration it out. Yeah, we got to ration get it out. Bites, I get four bites, the rest goes Eventually. The whole month of September is going to be the poverty series. <laughs> That's right. The broke ass series. Yeah, we're changing it. It's no longer Sally's recipe of the week. It's what, what do we call it this morning? Uh, Sally's poverty. Pover, poverty mills. <laughs> potluck. I don't know. 
Yeah, but uh, anyway, get the recipe at 1055online.com. Go to Dorset Italian Market and Bakery and get your ingredients, get some wine, get some cheese, and have a great weekend. Join us tomorrow. We've got uh, more tickets to see James Taylor with Battle of the Burbs. We still have tickets for our iHeartRadio Music Festival. We have that and 1000 bucks at 9 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, birthday prank call tomorrow. And, uh, you know, we've got four random facts, maybe the freak of the week. Curtis's friends don't listen to the show, and that's the way he likes it. we got to get to that at some point. <laughs> we got plenty to do. Yep, we do. All and right. Now we got to eat. eat. So thanks so much, guys, for joining us. Uh, and we love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.